Good morning, folks. Happy Saturday. We're in for a doozy of a stream today because today's, well, Saturday, so I'm doing another long stream day. So at any point in the day, there's a very good chance I'll be streaming, <laughs> except for like around like 11 and around 4 p.m. because that's whenever me and my roommate will be doing lunch and dinner, respectively. Anyway, we're for, for this first stream of the day, we're going to be continuing some Wayward because... I enjoy it, and that's the only reason I need. <laughs> but yeah, I've been meaning to get back to playing Wayward because it's got a lot of updates, and it's just a charming little game, and it's fun, and it's mean, and yeah, it's a good time. So we'll play more of that. But before we get started, I am still fundraising to help my friend Hachiko get back on his feet. The money for the GoFundMe will go towards a deposit for a place with his roommates. It'll also just, you know, be general, like, money, life support stuff, because, you know, being alive is expensive. But, anyway, uh, I have that GoFundMe link in the chat every once in a while with the chat bot. I also have a command for it, exclamation point Hachi. And on my layout, on, like, the top bar area, there's there's the, <laughs> the freaking uh, web addresses there as well. So, anyway, you choose... Is you'll be if you help out Hotchko, I'll really appreciate you. Oh, it's also below the stream too. My cat is meowing at him, so boy drinks water. What a goobus. Anyway, <laughs> let's see. All right. Now, something I do want to check though, because I I I'm starting to I'm I'm on Tumblr now, so I'm trying to do the embedded link stuff. It looked like it was working fine, except for the fact I wasn't live yet, so. Uh, we'll, I'll probably pull up Tumblr real quick just to see if it's doing anything. Oh, I see something. Okay, cool. Looks like I got to work finally. <clears throat> Alright, so. We're gonna be continu continue stream. <laughs> well. I named that stream. I didn't know it was going to be quite like that, but hey. Alright. Island of Calm Breezes. Oh, that's right near the end of the stream. I was trying to, like, murder a fish in the water. Um, let's see. Oh, that's also right. Um, one of my one of the, one of my one of the viewers was telling me that uprooting grass and burying that is now the best way to get a uh, benignity, which is the star here. This game runs a bit off of like a score system. Where like Doing things that are good for the island or nature tends to give you um, tends to give you mul uh, benignity, which makes things less m makes the island react less harshly to your presence. And the opposite is true. Like if you're like making a bunch of like weapons and like breaking a bunch of like rock walls and stuff, you'll 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 start to lack up a uh, malignity, and when that gets high enough. Harder things start to spawn to try to kill you. So my current goal is to um, get a nice little base made up that doesn't produce a lot of malign, and to um, get like a farm set up and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna need to uh, probably expand just a little bit because we got we got a we have a door, we have a wall, and we have a place to sleep, which is pretty good, but. Having another way to get out and having some other rooms as well in this place would be smart. So we're probably going to, uh... Okay. Pro we're very likely going to be, um... Using some of our benign that we currently have to make another like room down here for like crafting or storage or something um I think I did say I wanted to make this room bigger too 
So we might need to craft another wall or two to put there. Actually, no, I don't have to do that because we found some walls last stream. I remember it was like a little house. Hmm. What's all that? Uh, seeds. Okay. There's a rabbit. We're not gonna bother them because killing uh, defenseless animals like rabbits tends to uh, give you a fair amount of uh, malign. I mean, it's just not very nice, you know. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff over here. Let's see. Got some carrots here that are... Uh... We got some seeds, so we can plant these in this uh, fertile dirt here, which we're gonna do now. And then in a, sh in a little bit, this well, carrots probably aren't, I don't think they're very good, but it almost doesn't really matter. So yeah, this thing will continue to just grow us more uh, carrot seeds. And, like, when this carrot was fully reached its fully grown state, since it's on fertile soil, it chose an area around it to spread to. Which means we have another carrot here. Which means when these carrots are both done, we'll harvest both of them, get two seeds, like, two carrots, and then we'll plant, like, another carrot there and probably another one somewhere down here, because this fertile soil is real, uh, real good for growing stuff, as you may expect. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what was I doing down here? Um, taking a bite of my burrito I have for breakfast is one of them. <laughs> a good thing about a game like this is I can just, like, stop moving and nothing else is going to move and I can just eat some of my food. <laughs> I can't remember what we were doing. Oh wait, no. Okay, I remember. We're gonna go get at least one of these walls down here from this cabin. Cause it's like a, a POI generated out in the world and... Just, just so happens that is a, um... A wood cabin, so we can just, uh... up that and we'll just take that back and place that down and that way we won't have to craft one of our own and use up a malign or benevolence or anything like that which fr frankly is a win for me because let me see crafting one of these um, I don't see where it's uh, like it used to say like where like crafting score like like if like crafting one would give you like uh okay it's probably down here let me find a wood wall hmm if I understand correctly that means um You'll get plus 20 net, um... <laughs> Cat's just yodeling to himself in the living room. <laughs> but yeah, if I'm understanding this correctly, crafting one of these wood walls gets you a net gain of uh, 20 benign. 
because the, the woodwork raising the woodworking skill gives you a minus five because it's it's processing so well we didn't gain the and well we didn't gain the 20 uh, benign overall it also didn't affect our either score so fine by me Yeah, eventually we're gonna move that farm stuff up here, cause you can't you can dig up that uh, fertile dirt and just move it somewhere else. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna be at the very least getting another one of those walls. So let's let's go grab that. Uh, let's maybe not go that way. I don't want to risk the goat fighting with me because the goats aren't aggressive, but they will also just run into you and beat the shit out of you if you're not cautious, so. Put all fresh water. Can you just, like, scoop that up and slurp it down? Hmm. Apparently not. <clears throat> I guess it's not counted as enough liquid. I think we can also technically dismantle, um, oh, animal fat decayed, whatever. Uh, I think we can also technically dismantle these wood walls if we don't need them, but we're probably gonna just um, keep stuff as it is in case we need the walls or something, because I think each of these walls is like three logs too, so it's like an entire tree. Yeah, it's like an, basically an entire tree or so, give or take, of stuff that we don't have to destroy because that's which is even less um malign too so reusing previous reusing already created things is usually a good call all right we're gonna try to sneak by this goat without it beating our ass again they're not aggressive but like if they just kind of pathfind in your way and you start fighting them they can they're they're fairly competent fighters compared to what you would expect yeah, most of these trees right here are gonna get uh, removed before long, so that we can move around and do all sort, do whatever we need to do. All right, let's. There we go. All right, uh, let's make sure that's going down. Okay, it is. All right. Well, we got that tree out of the way. That's like. I, that's, uh, that's that that lets us move around at least again. <laughs> All right, let's drop. We're not gonna worry about the branches or logs right now. We're just trying to get our our shit together. Eventually, what you can do is you can try like once you're um. I think it's your botany skill gets higher up. You can uh, have a better chance of getting um, better, like quality seeds from trees. Like this is a superior maple tree, which means that if we uh, harvest from it, see we got a, uh, a superior seed, and we with that we can plant a superior tree. So we can start slow but surely making better trees, which have better resources, which make better tools. Kind of that kind of deal. So I think our first order of business is going to be clearing out this little area here. Okay, so this still has water in it. 
Oh, you can just drink directly from it. Granted, you still need the uh, container anyway, but like... Picky. Why are you so rambunctiously loud? Anyway. For now, yeah, we still gotta do the water still boogaloo here. Attach. Container. And before we start a fire, we need to make sure we have enough um, things to have the fire actually go off. Um, let's pick up all of these um, branches. Hmm, because there was one branch that was just a little fucked up. No, oh, that's a pole. Never mind. And anyway, we could just stoke those in the fire too. Let's let's see how much. Yeah, we'll um. Uh, and we'll just throw these um two poles in the fire. That should count as the other plank. Okay, let's move these to um. <clears throat> don't know why those are in there let's close the backpack for now because for the most part that's just gonna hold our tools or or otherwise like big things that we want to reduce the weight of this little bag holds for the most part just a bunch of like leaves and tinder and stuff so that we don't have to worry about it clogging this inventory up it also reduces the weight of it even though the weight's not very much it just lets us hold a lot more in the same, like, kind of space, too, so. It's useful to have, or to do, or whatever. Okay, so. And we definitely want to get more water going, because... Because running out of water is not a fun thing to do. And frankly... After getting this cleared out and like a, like this room built up, oh come seriously, OBS you can't handle wayward you little weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I mostly just wanted this room to be slightly bigger than what it is, so that we can have like some chests for storage, because we can just turn this into our storage room slash like bedroom or whatever. Like it doesn't need to be fancy it just needs to be functional not like we can really make anything fancy right now anyway but anyway let's get this fire started it's on nine all right we're gonna stoke fire with this crappy pole we will stoke it with this one and then stoke it with a plank fire is struggling that should be good enough to have the, uh, that should be just enough fire strength to desalinate this water we have in there. <clears throat> okay. So now we got more water going. We don't have to worry about that for a while and our hunger's looking pretty okay. <clears throat> Well, unfortunately, the spider meat can't be used to try to catch fish because it's cooked. So we'll just have to eat it whenever the time comes. Uh, let's see, two hunger. We could probably eat it now, but it'd be we could we could you could do a little bit of work and um, um, you know what? Yeah, it's that'd be enough room. Just uh, two high on each side. We're gonna do a little bit of work here. A remarkable tin. Oh, that's something we made last time when I was trying to make leather. It, we crafted. We got a rare craft and got a um, a tin of worth. It's like 120 extra credits. Too much weight. I mean, makes sense, I guess. <sighs> Probably put these branches back down. <laughs> Just holding a bunch of branches for no good reason. 
Mana don't weigh a lot, but they have weight, which we could be using for other things, like, for example, um, the, uh, what you call it? Digging. So, like, we could do more digging without having to stop to drop stuff off or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna have, like, a... Like a seven by five room I guess I and mean, we don't really need to really make this one that much bigger right now but eventually we can just make it a bigger room okay and our characters heavy so we're gonna bust getting all these rocks lets us have well rocks a bit more useful than you would think they would be because you can make a lot of things out of rocks like a kiln or a furnace and all that and we will be wanting to do that because once we can get a uh, kiln made, we can start working with glass. And we can eventually make a uh, solar-powered distillation still, or several of them. And then all you have to do with those is just pour water in them, attach a container, and then ignore it. And then come back and you just got a bunch of water. It's really convenient. Turn on a drop on uh, um, thought there was an option called like drop on gather or something. Oh, drop on chop, drop, <laughs> drop on chop, drop on chop, hop on pop. <laughs> okay, that's the option I was looking for. <clears throat> that way, when we actually um. Let's pick up this fucking purple plank here. <laughs> plank of hurling. Uh, we'll put that somewhere else. There we go. Yeah, for now, we'll just have a... Um, we'll have it this way. And a matter of fact, we might switch the order of these two. Yeah, we're gonna switch the order of these two. One, two, three. Because I think I think as long as you're three blocks away from a uh, a critter, it won't wake you up. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. Well, <laughs> that's okay. I mean, before long we're gonna be sleeping anyway to pass through the night. Riding this way, where it all just goes on the floor anyway, makes it where you don't have to worry about like getting overweighed and taking damage and all that. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, tin. No real idea how useful that is. Hi, Baba. Why are you just yelling at yourself, dude? Because he's a little goblin, that's why. <laughs> Alright, let's eat that spider meat now. So ideally you can get you can find uh, plant life or vegetables that when you eat them restore thirst and hunger so you have to drink less water overall. I think one of my top faves for that purpose is cucumbers, because they just, yeah, they tend to give decent hunger, decent fluids, and I think you get two of them per harvest, so you can, like, once you get, like, one, you can start, like, kind of just expanding it up and out to get just a bunch more, and from the, from the best of my knowledge, it doesn't matter if all this shit's just on the floor, I mean, it doesn't look great, but we don't really have a good way around it right now, other than... If we were to do anything else, yeah. In the morning, we'll have to. Gr we're gonna grab some more uh, benign. Matter of fact, let's step outside. See if we have any. Uh... We might just sleep right out here, cause if things do show up at this point, since our benign's like at least at least zero, 
We'll probably just be giant rats and spiders, and we do not have troubles fighting them. Matter of fact, we probably would want to fight them. So I just like go out, just sleep in the middle of nowhere to try to get some more, get them to spawn a little bit more. Yeah, we'll just sleep on the ground. Fuck it, whatever. See, that spider did not stand a fucking chance whatsoever. Seriously, how are you? How is the encoder overloading? How how does that? How what, whatever game. Whatever, OB. It's not the game's fault. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know whose fault it is. Okay, let's scoop up the some silk and some some spider meat. We can try fishing with that, which might, which if we're lucky, can get us more food than just eating the spider meat. Anyway, sleep on. Let's sleep on the ground again. Maybe we can get another critter to come visit us. Oh, well, maybe not. All right. Well, whatever. That, that being said, killing that, um, ooh, we're a little hungry. Um, oh no, time like the present, we can try to fish, I guess. Nothing seems to be biting here. Put something slip away on your line. We're gonna move this down here and set this to cast so we can just press seven to cast over and over again oh we cut that for whatever that's worth well we, we didn't get any fish but we got a bunch of batter locks which we could eat <laughs> but we probably shouldn't <laughs> Kind of thinking, wondering if there's some giant rats around, because they tend to spawn at night. Not like, not like specifically like. Like next to you, but they can just kind of spawn around at night sometimes. So if we could find one of those, we could just um cannibalize its body there. Oh, see, there's one. And I think we'll even get some benign for just fighting it. Yep, we got some benign for fighting it, even though we literally just ran up to it and just chopped it in half, basically. Hey, I'll take some free benign. It also that also gives us some uh, more glue because we can use this offal here with the bones to make some uh, animal glue. What you can use to patch up your um, your various items to make them have much more durability. Like we'll probably use it on this water skin here, actually. So we're gonna go to the go to the sea and use some. We'll start a fire on the beach, <laughs> as you do. Uh, let's let's grab like this water skin's pretty girthy. So we'll grab some water there. We'll. I imagine I will start the fire like on like the as, far, as safe as possible on the beach, so I'm not just like starting a fire on the grass. Uh oh, I was press, probably pressing F nine, not nine. There we go. Okay, so let's we got we have a bit of a little bit of seawater that'll let us make this animal glue. And the reason I want to do do it that way is that um. Yeah, the reason you want to make in the glue, like, just do it, the way, reason I do it this way, like, as soon as possible is because that awful has a very low shelf life. What we can also do is, um, you get this cooked tainted meat, which, as you can see, gives, like, eight hunger. The only downside of that is that, um, it's tainted, so there's a chance that you get poisoned from it. But we, we have a solution to that as well. We're gonna head back up, up, up the coast. Hello, goat. Ooh. So maybe give the goat some space. That is a small rat. We're gonna leave that alone. Just, okay, that's the little rats aren't anything to really bother. I think they can give you tainted meat, so it's not nothing. But I think you also just get a large amount of malign if you kill them. The only exception is um 
aberrant, aberrant forms, because aberrant forms of monsters are generally very strong and seek you out because they want you. That's the, part of the game's way of trying to kill you. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, detach the container. This water should be plenty purified now. Now what we can do is we can stand next to this pile of uh, plant roots, which are medicine, medicinal items. And we can eat, we can stand next to this, eat this tainted meat. And if we get poisoned, we can make medicine water and cure it. And if not, we can just drink the water that we have. And there we go. Right as rain. Let's make some more water. <laughs> before we get too carried away. Oh, I need to use this animal uh, glue before it, like, goes bad. It has, it has, it does have decay. It also has durability, so if you fail to actually do the, um reinforcement part of the deal then it can you can lose the glue but thankfully it's not too hard and see we got a nice bunch of durability there now we've got another next time we get another set of glue we can improve this one too and have it just last forever we probably should have done that done that to our fishing rod here because eh. now eventually when we get strong enough we can just kill sharks for f for food because <laughs> sharks show up every so often. I don't know their exact like when or how or why they spawn. Well, I know why they spawn, but I don't know when or how they spawn. Like, I don't know the, the conditions that make them show up, but when they do, if you're strong enough, like good enough gear, good enough combat stats, you can just kill them. And then just, uh, I think they, I think they give you benign. I can't remember. It's been so long since I both played this game and was strong enough to just kill sharks. <laughs> So I don't really know off the top of my head. Uh, okay, we need to grab some more water. We'll gather with this one since it's night. It's freshly um. And the reason I have two of these, but then haven't really been using it, is because these take you have to start fires to use these stills, and that involves getting stuff like. Like we're gonna break apart one of these um one of these logs to get planks. Like two planks will be enough to get this fire to be good enough to uh, purify the water in one go without us having to do anything else. Let's pick up all the all the ashes. We can use those eventually for something. I can't remember, but I know that you probably want them. So we'll just kind of drop them over here in the in the, the corner. <laughs> Why is the I have a feeling it might be because this game's too simple and it's the encoder is like being weird. I, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it because I very rarely get that with anything else on my PC, let alone this fucking game, so. It's whatever. be good enough to get some more water. <sighs> Alright. Plan is still to get rid of this like little bit of trees because eventually we can just dig up some dirt and take turn this into a farm or something. But before that, we probably should try to find things to farm. Like, I know there's like a... Ooh, there's a slime over here somewhere. Because I think there was a slime. It might, have been, it might not have been a slime, but... Let's get that out of the way. There's a little rat. Oh no, no, that's been a rabbit. We're not gonna bother to rabbit because that's uh We'll get rid of this tree in the way just because it's in the way and I'll let us move around a little bit better. Oh there's a snake. Maybe that's what I saw. Oh, there's a chicken too. Yeah, we have a we have an apple tree here that's um still flowering and not ready to get more apples from. 
What's this? Ooh, scales. Snakes sometimes drop those, and I think if you tame a snake, it also um, can give you scales. Like, you can harvest them from the snake without killing the snake. And you can use scales to make some pretty good armor. Okay, we're gonna just kind of explore a lot. I probably should have got more water or food or something, but we'll, we'll figure it out. If necessary, I can, um... What? Why is there just a random... I don't know if I want to know why. There's just, like, a dead tree there. Yeah, let's just wander around. Ooh. Ooh. There's a cucumber plant. It's not ready to get anything from. So we're going to leave it be, but that's 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 a good sign. Ooh, there's some apples. We'll grab those and probably just eat them immediately. Oh, wait. I got three apples. Oh, I think you always get three apples. I'm just... The thing about growing apple, apple trees is when they just give seeds, as well as like the food or whatever. Like they get, they always give you seeds when you eat them. Mo a lot of things don't give you seeds when you eat them. Like cucumbers, for example. If you want to um, use them for making more cucumbers, you have to dismantle them into seeds, which is unfortunate because you have to kind of like balance on whether you're gonna be using your cucumbers for food or if you're going to use them to propagate more cucumbers. Seeps! <laughs> Hello, 3Gs. Welcome. Thanks for stopping in today. Ooh, we found a quick way back to our base instead of going all that way. We are playing more Wayward this morning. So later, we'll be playing uh, Scarlet, but for now, we'll be, be playing this. Uh, going pretty good. I'm taking another bite of my food. Going pretty good. We're just working on getting a foothold on this unforgiving island here. Can I just punch this fish? Come here. Come here. Come here, fucker. Yeah, this game is. Oh. I'm gonna punch this fish. Come here. You missed a red snapper with a granite axe. <laughs> Just trying to kill a fish with an axe. The real Ungabunga lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, right now we're just exploring around, seeing what sort of wild produce we can find. So we can eventually start a farm. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, interesting. They kind of just gathered that on their own. I didn't expect that to happen. Now, what my my basically my favorite crop to grow in this game, from what I remember, is cucumbers because they give you uh, water and hunger when you eat them. So they make it to where you have to have to deal with the water purifying process a lot less. That being said, once you have like a um, like solar distillation with like glass stuff, it's a lot less painful to make water. So. Oh no, we'll see. I did find a cucumber already, but it's still growing, so we can't do anything with it yet. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna touch it or bother it. So there's another apple tree up here that's not quite ready. That's okay, we don't really need it at this very second. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is a survival roguelike. <laughs> it's also turn-based. You, you can play it in a real-time sort of mode, but like, by default, it's turn-based. We're like, if you stand here, nothing will happen until you move. Hello, Hachiko. Thanks so much for stopping in. Welcome. Hi, Pookie. Hi. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Little man just, he's just yelling. He just does that. <laughs> Sometimes he's just like very, he's, he's a surprisingly vocal boy. <laughs> he's also small, like still, he's like almost four or so, I think, and he's still pretty, ooh, apples. Let's, um, let's get some apples from this tree. Yeah? Yeah? 
He's just running around and yelling, trying to get the shit. Like, you know, you know cats. You know what they do. So, so this morning, until like lunchtime, basically, I'm gonna be playing this game. It's called Wayward. It's a survival roguelike. And it's turn-based. Like, if I just stand here and just... We just sat here the whole stream, didn't press any keys, nothing would change. You, you can play this game in a uh, real-time sort of setting. Like, there's a mode, there's like a setting that lets it, like, everything move in real time. But I think the, the turn-based mode has a lot more charm and a lot more strategy to it. Like, there's, def there's definitely a different dynamic when you can, like, kind of wait for the enemy to come around the corner so you can get the first hit on them or something like that. I mean, you can still definitely do that in real time mode or whatever, but like, it's just, it just feels different. Anyway, we're just kind of exploring around now. I found one of the things I was looking for, but we can't do anything with it yet, so we're just leaving it. It was like over here, some like cucumbers that are growing. We want to get those and make those into seeds so we can plant cucumbers and have well, cucumbers. <laughs> oh, wait, there's another cucumber plant here. This one is ripe. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna harvest that. And I got us two cucumbers. And we can just leave that plant there as long as, like, a goat or something doesn't eat it. And it'll make more cucumbers eventually. Ooh, there's a snake. There's some carrots. We're gonna avoid the snake because they can and will poison you quite readily oh looks like we are a little a little thirsty thankfully we can just grab scoop up this nasty water off the floor we'll just leave that there and you can only do this with fresh water you find just laying around on the ground but we can like we're gonna go to the shore and like make a just make an open fire on the beach like we're literally like on castaway or something like we're gonna just make an open flame here and with this, uh, with this, uh, fresh water you can find just on the ground, you can, uh, just purify it on a fire without, no, like, desalinating or anything, so. It makes it a lot, it makes it useful if you're, like, out and about and kind of, in my case, didn't bring water with me because it wasn't ready yet. I just wanted to go explore. But yeah, we're gonna drink, just drink this water now. It's nice and purified. Now that'll hold us off for a little bit longer. We can run around and, uh. We're gonna actually grab these bone fragments. We can make use of those. We can either turn those into a needle or we can combine them with like animal guts to make some glue. Um, well, we, we found more than one set of uh, cucumbers, so that's nice. So we're gonna turn, we're gonna dismantle these immediately into seeds. And we'll plant them when we get back home. Which is not... We're, we're a little far off from our home because we had to kind of run around to look for new stuff. But okay, that, that, I think that tree died, which is why there's just stuff on the ground there. Yeah. Just roaming around. Yeah? You think so? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> like you just turn around. He just he just moved very suddenly for no 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 real reason. It seems I don't know. Ooh, switch grass. As opposed to top grass and bottom grass. Oh jeez. Okay. There's a rabbit over here. We're gonna leave the rabbit alone because harming like. Innocent slash harmless creatures make like makes your malign score go up significantly. I'm gonna pick up all this stuff and just take it back with us. It's a little heavy, but we have enough weight to make it work. The only exception is if there's like a, uh, no a normally uh, innocent creature is affected like is an aberrant because that's like a uh, much harder form of a normal creature. And they will always come after you, no matter how nice you're being to the environment. They'll always come for you and try to kill your ass. So you, can, you basically try to defend yourself against them if you if you can. But the rabbits aren't very scary one way or another. I mean, they're fucking rabbits. Uh, let's 
drop these logs. We're just kind of making piles on the floor of stuff right now because we don't have chests. Well, we could make chests, but we just don't have them yet. We're also going to keep all our plant roots over here because these plant roots you can use to make a uh, medicine. We got a bunch of grass regrown over here because that's our primary way of generating extra benign is digging up grass and then replanting it. <laughs> Seem, seems a little weird, that's because it is, but that's okay. Here you go, bud. Wow! Wow! Come here. Come here, sneaky boy. Oh, look at you, aren't you funny? Yeah. See, the best part about this being turned is I can turn around and pet my cat, and nothing will happen. Hey, Bubba. He's a little sweetheart. I, I, he, he's very important to me. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Hunger. We're still dealing with that because we don't have any crops or anything grown yet, and we're basically surviving just off of whatever we can find. We do have some. I think these are apple trees. Yeah, we have some apple trees planted, but they're, as you can see, nowhere near close to being done in any shape or form we do have some apples we can eat though so we'll, we'll go we'll go ahead and uh hmm we could do some work before we do that because these eating these apples will get us a decent amount of stamina back so yeah we're, we're gonna find a patch of grass to just like uproot well that apple's a little further along we're just like uproot a bunch of this grass up here. Let's see, where's our six is our hoe. Start just digging, they'll get us grass seeds. They'll also give us gra Excuse you. Fuck off. <laughs> Claw worm over here jumping out when we're trying to dig. Granted, when I didn't have a shield and an axe and some like bark armor, these things were the fucking bane of my existence. Just popping out when you're trying to dig up stuff, because they can and will make you bleed. But now that we got some tactics skills and also um, just some gear, they pose very little threat. We can, however, use them. Let's see, it's hockey as eight for the knife. Okay. We've got some worm meat here, and we can use that to either eat or we can use this fishing bait. I want to use this fishing bait, honestly. Let's uh, re let's repair our our uh, fishing pole, and let's sit out here and we'll just try some fishing. I don't know if it's gonna be really work, but you know it's worth the shot. Cause if we could turn at least one, if we could turn this warm meat into at least one fish, I think that'd be worth it. Anyway, let's see. Fishing pole is seven. Oh, there's a shark. Let's uh, not stand next to the shark. Uh, can I still fish from here? I, well. Shark is being annoying. The shark's cannon will just follow you around everywhere. Uh, maybe that one won't, but they usually... Just, okay, it's, it's coming over now. We'll just fish until it gets here. Oh, well. We used up our... We used up our worm meat and got, like... One... <laughs> we got some seaweed. Which we could technically eat, but like, we probably don't want to do that. Not ideally, no. Now, if we were a little stronger, I would say we'd just fight the shark, but I don't think we're that strong. We can try, because we, we can just heal ourselves. I think we have... Why is the encoding overloaded? It's a fucking pixel game. Calm down, computer. I literally play Tales of Arise, which is like a 2020 game, without the encoder fucking up. I fucking hate OBS. Well, we are fighting the shark. I just... We killed the shark. 
Alright. I wasn't expecting us to actually be able to do that, but... Uh, bone apple teeth, I guess. Uh, let's see. With some shark fins. I still don't know if this is stuff that he's used for anything. You can use the shark teeth for, like, a sharpened item for, like, dismantling, like, wood or whatever as, like, a knife, kind of. Now, the shark fin isn't really useful for anything. You can probably sell it for some money, but we'll just kind of leave it on the beach. What we're interested in are these, uh, sharks, or fish steaks. Very interested in that, matter of fact. Uh, is this water ready over here? Yeah, this water is ready. We'll grab that and... So, we're going to be making some more water. Reason being, well, we need, we're going to probably have to anyway, so might as well just do it now. We're gonna, we'll dismantle one of these um, logs. start the fire stoke up these two planks that we got from the log and that gets us a struggling fire which is strong enough to purify that water and we're gonna cook these uh, fish steaks now oh wow that was a, that was a good quality fish steak uh, let's we'll eat the first one to see what it does for us six hunger baseline six hunger Well, shit, we just live off shark steaks if it really comes to it. <laughs> Not really what I had in mind, but it's definitely cool that we can actually fight the sharks. I wasn't expecting it to go that well. Oh, there's sharks not quite dead yet. I think that means we're going to be able to get some, uh, some offal from it. Let's uh, dig further into this shark here. Yep. And with that and the bone shards we got earlier, I know they're somewhere. Here we are. We can use that to make animal glue, which we can use to make our fishing pole just a little better. Jesus Christ, encoder, why? I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoder speed. Jesus Christ, are you serious right now? Whatever. Oh, is, does it look choppy at all or any weird or anything? I mean, it's kind of mitigated with this kind of game anyway because it's turn-based, but... Alright, animal glue, where is our fishing rod? Let's repair it. And then I'll try to reinforce it. Now our fishing rod has 100 and something durability instead of like 13. Because glue is very powerful. And frankly, one of the most busted things in this game is just getting getting glue or like slime and just reinforcing some. Yeah. 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 He just did a little hop nuzzle on my hand. That's so that my heart, my heart cannot take it. <laughs> so good. Well, now I don't, now I don't have to really worry about sharks anymore because I, like, I guess I can just fight them. And as we fight more of them, our our tactics will just go up and it won't matter as much anymore. Anyway, back to the back to the Hoenn. 
I gotta be a hoe. The thing is, is like if you um use a shovel to dig this up, it counts as mining. But if you use a hoe, it counts as botany. So you gain um. Current up, but nine of these at one thirty, one forty, one fifty. Yeah, you you basically since you, if you're using a hoe, you gain. Um, now become a cat holding stream <laughs> not entirely I just let him go he scampered off into the the rest of the house <laughs> all right so that was six we're just gonna keep hoeing up as much as this is possible and we can technically get these worms from it so we can use these worms for well fishing bait so this not only gets us uh, benign it's gonna get us even more benign because we can hoe the ground and then plant the grass seeds which gets you an even bigger boost than digging this crap up so it's just and the higher your uh, botany goes the higher chance you have of just getting multiple seeds too plus all these grass shard grass shards grass uh, bl blades of grass we get we can use to uh, help start fires too. I think they count as the uh, tinder Yeah, they count as tinder Unfortunately, we're actually pretty low on stuff that's not tinder in our little bag there. gonna move all to small all blades of grass to small bag which means there's a lot of them in there now but that's fine this also gets this plant roots which are uh, medicine which means that if we get poisoned or need to get poisoned then we can just do that without having to worry about it we just got we got like eight plant roots now it's like four doses of uh, medicine juice or water or whatever I forget, we still just have these apples. They have a pretty good uh, shelf life, as they do in real life. Hello, little brown boy. Yeah, you claw that thing. <laughs> Never mind. He is tearing ass across the house now. Great. Jesus Christ. That cat is a is definitely a cat. <laughs> anyway. Mmm. Yeah, we'll eat these apples now. We'll, we'll eat them until we're full. So we don't want to waste any uh we don't want to waste any food. Like that one apple gave us three hunger, so we're not gonna eat anymore. We do have a bit of benign though, so we're gonna try to get these trees cut down. Ah, oh, crap. That was a, uh, I shouldn't have chopped that one. Well, I was going to have to chop it down eventually, but that tree was a uh, superior tree, which means that it gives uh, slightly better seeds. That, that said, we did get seeds from it already, so it's not the end of the world. So we can just move it wherever else we want to plant trees. Probably just end up planting trees up top there, maybe.
We'll keep the non. We'll keep the superior logs or remark. Remarkable superior. <laughs> Don't know what the difference is at this point. I think, I think remarkable or blue. I mean, yeah, they're blue, but. Okay, never mind. Those are the green ones. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. We have just enough weight to just haul this stuff around. That's it. This is getting us a nice amount more twigs. Which each, each set of twigs and um, blades of grass lets us start a fire, so we can just start a lot of fires now. Plus we're getting all these leaves, which also let us start fires. And we get a tree bark too, which lets us uh, make string pretty easily. Plus you have to smash up tree bark to get tannins to make leather, if That's all if that's your prerogative as well. So that, <laughs> that spot is already too full of wall logs. I think there's like a weight limit per spot. And these logs weigh like three something pounds a piece. Three or four, give or take. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Jesus Christ game. I'm not going to be able to change the setting for this encoding crap now, but like... problems with this except for like, apparently this game especially is just like hey I, I, I'm I want to have trouble <laughs> or I want to cause trouble anyway start hoeing this owner spots here We'll uh, rest on the ground briefly so that we can get some stamina back. It is dark. I drink some more coffee. Ugh. Now he's sitting in the corner, just staring at the wall. I love him. He's he's really cute, but I never said he was smart. Oh, hello, rat. Goodbye, rat. <laughs> Thanks. Please and thank you. Okay, we can press four to plant all these seeds. And planting these seeds, you can see our benign jumps up by like a hundred or so. That's like the main gain from this whole process is this planting part. And as far as I know, you generally like stay like stable in the amount of seeds you have when you do this. But if you're really that worried about it, you can uh, you could um. Like if you're really that worried, you could um, plant grass on. You can like clear an area out of grass, plant like one 
grass in the center on like fertile dirt and then when that grows it'll spread to other places and you can let those all grow and then you'll just multiply your seeds that way if it's really your prerogative like it's a little it's a little uh, gamey to do that but hey it's a game it's a game and it's here to be played so you know it's kind of like it's like what you gonna do all right we're gonna I'm aware I'm working myself into exhaustion. When we sleep, I'll probably get all that stuff back anyway, so I don't really care. So I want to get this done now. Bubba, what's up? Hi, sweetie. Oh, you're so fluffy. <laughs> just like, just like half gallops his ass away. As you do. Let's see. Is this pure? Oh, it's <sighs> what? Does never get? Did I never start this? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I might have got sidetracked. Uh, anyway, we'll eat this app. We'll eat one of these apples. Actually, no, we'll eat both of them. Screw it. I'll give us some stamina. I wish this encoder thing would stop being a fuck. Cause I can see it pop up, but I don't know if it's doing anything adverse to the video quality. <sighs> Yeah, like eating like f like fruit and veggies usually give you hunger and and thirst at the same time, as opposed to not that. Like, I might have started this fire and then just like didn't actually put anything in it. I don't know. I could have swore I put enough stuff in it, but maybe I didn't. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll just, uh, we'll cook that. Our wooden spear is less as worse for wear it's like by a good amount. Whoa. Okay, well, not really any reason to go inside a fur coat. Interesting. It must be new stuff that they added since the last played. I could use these um, animal pelts. I could make them into dismantle them into like hides, and then tan them and make leather, and use that to make some more armor. Which, frankly, would probably be the smartest thing to do with it. But before, before that, though, we're gonna sleep. We'll just sleep on the ground out here. Next to the fire. Cause this, the fire that comes from this, uh, these water stills is bright enough to give you a sleep bonus to where you'll sleep through most of, most of the night. I mean, as long as you don't get interrupted by like a rat or something. Okay. Now it's definitely purified. And this weird, like fire, like it's, it's purified. It's not purified thing is one of the re main reasons why I would love to get to glass stuff today. Cause that would make it significant. Oh, I should have. Yeah, this is gonna expire before I get the chance to do anything more with it. 
I mean, I have a way around it, or I can just I can just soak the poison damage if it poisons me. Okay, it didn't poison me anyway, so cool. <laughs> well, let's start some more uh, water boiling while we have the chance. I'd still say I'm still very much say I'm early game, so a lot of it's still just like surviving, like like on the fringe. We're just gonna drop these hides over here, or these pelts rather, which all come from rats. <laughs> I mean, you can get them from other creatures, like you can get them from like rabbits or goats or whatever. But like, giant rats are almost always gonna be the um, the most ready source of them. See, before and in the olden days, usually my hardest thing to get to would be tinder, but with with doing grass, um, grind, grinding grass out to get benign that way, that makes that no longer the case. We are gonna drop. We're just littering the beach over here with just garbage. <laughs> Let's drop all this tree bark, just get out of our inventory. We should probably fish with these um, earthworms before they go bad, because as you can see, every time I step, they're losing like one or so durability per turn. So we're gonna fish. We'll, 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 we'll get our skill up, and we'll also maybe even get a fish or two out of it. Or at worst, a um, or at, or at the very worst, we'll get like a, uh, a shark or something. Oh, we got a bot. Ooh. That's actually really good. I mean, it's a, it's another water container that's like roughly the same weight as um like your water skins or whatever. Yeah, I don't really mind that we didn't really get much other than batter locks because these batter locks we can use it to make string which gets a net gain of like 20 benign per crap plus you use, you use string for a whole lot of shit so the more string the better all right sweet a fishing net huh don't know how that works and I'm front kind of scared to ask <laughs> Anywho, let's go ahead and I still kind of want to plan to turn like this area around here into a garden I got like some fences and some dirt here and another fence here but, So we're gonna need to clear out this Wood, wood a bit here. I saw you trying to get into that cabinet, Spooky, you little shit. <laughs> He's just roaming around looking for trouble to get into. I mean, that's, that's just kind of cats in general, I think. They're just looking to get into something they're not supposed to. Little, little goobers. Uh... Yeah. 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 Woo. Uh, we got some apple seeds. We'll just kind of plant them down here, I guess. Oh, there's a rat. Come here, rat. I got something to show you. <laughs> Perish. <laughs> what I have to show you is death. <laughs> I 
More important though is more animal glue. Okay, grass, calm down. I just want to clear you out so I can plant these. My dexterity increased, okay, cool. Oh, there's a spider. Is a spider coming to visit me too? It's, tr it's thinking about it. Now you do have to be a little cautious of the spiders because they're not very scary, but they do get a, if they do get a hit, on you, they can poison you, which I mean, yeah, of course they're gonna poison you, they're spiders. Why wouldn't this game have, um, venomous spiders? <laughs> I would just plant these apple trees. No, pro I don't really plan on utilizing them as, like, part of my grand strategy of having food, but, like, we can definitely, um, We can definitely, at the very least, um, plant them in the ground, and eventually we can use them if it really comes to it. Anyway, let's see. You know, we'll use this uh, glass bottle up first, just because it's kind of a freebie. Okay, purified water, nice. Um, oh yeah, we're just gonna do stuff on the beach. Blue, what are we enhancing next? Um, maybe these bark leggings that they just last like even more forever than they already are. Although, before long, we'll probably replace them with leather anyway, but hmm. Uh, let's press equals and. Look at this stuff. I like how I made this bow drill, just haven't used it at all yet. Like, because I'm still using this um, fire plow instead. Uh, shovel. Uh, well, I haven't used it in a while, but it'd probably not be a bad idea to have the shovel be stronger too. Alright, let's... Now this shovel's plenty strong. Wooden spear. At some point we probably do need to make one that's not made out of wood. But that point's not right now. <laughs> Mostly just wanted to use up that glue before everything went bad. Oh, I actually killed the fish this time. I just straight up chopped the fish in half. All right, well, guess we're getting another another tasty snack, aren't we? Uh, let's see, it's not part of bait, is it? No. We finally did it. We got a fish. We just didn't use the fishing pole to get it. <laughs> you know, you just you take what you can get sometimes. But yeah, let's get this grass out of my inventory again. Uh, I guess we'll plant some uh, the gra some of the grass seeds here. So they can eventually grow. Because these areas on the fringe here are going to be where the um, the fence, fences are. Because you do not want stuff getting in your plants because they'll just run over it and destroy all of it. Because of course they will. Okay, what kind of game would this be if that wasn't what happened? 
Alright, uh, let's just continue getting rid of these trees. I see you over there, spider. So we're exerted, so we took a little bit of damage. Mo 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 mostly <laughs> from being <laughs> mostly from being tired and us straining ourselves while being tired, more so than the spider actually doing anything so like significant to us. Being said, we can uh, drink some water here. Fix that right up. Let's see, those are all barks. Okay. Put all of our tree barks down there. And we're gonna just pile up all these planks on the floor here. Cause we can then we can just pick them up and use them to start fires as necessary. Something I do want to look into real fast, not, since it's on my mind, is we're gonna borrow some of this fertile soil that's down here. You can make your own, like pretty, like sustain. Be be humble, be humble, goat. like having to like apprehensively walk, walk around the goats wait what what's here oh more carrots grew there huh all right um well I don't really care so we're gonna just chop it whatever because I want to dig this soil up because normally you can make fertile soil out of uh well out of like fertilizer and like animal droppings and rotten stuff and all that fun junk like that yeah we're, we're walking through the, there's another goat granted goats are great to have tamed because they can give you milk which means you don't have to get as much water but they're like the, the, the best way to really tame them is to just feed them leaves <laughs> Or I guess blades of grass probably work too. Now I'm thinking about it, which makes the whole blade, which makes the whole grass strategy for benignity even more powerful. I have a feeling that once you're malign and benign cap out, they can't go any higher, so you're basically at zero. Which hey, that works. The zero is still a positive score, I guess. Um. I know I ramble a lot, especially when I'm playing games like these, so thank you for putting up with that. <laughs> hmm. now we're gonna have to move most of this stuff further out, because I want to start planning the farm. And I can't really do that with all this stuff in the way. All those logs and we're gonna similarly just drop them somewhere else you can pick them up all at once then turn around and just drop them again and all's good as a pester and mortar pe pestle pester a pestle and mortar a pester and mortar <laughs> Hester Chum. <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna move this across the way.
Maybe just press Q, drop that. Oh, fine, we'll drop it up. Drop it over there. And then this is a remarkable log. We'll just kind of hold on to that for now. Just put that over here. Now, we still need to clear out these trees. Which we'll not will which we'll do now that we've got let's get some more water making. That's that's the, the crappy part about these is that like you have to constantly be getting more like like just constantly be getting more and more um stuff to support the um the, the fire process for making this water this way. It's very low tech and very easy to do almost anywhere as long as you're near water, which, I mean, the ocean. <laughs> you can technically use this to purify fresh water, but there's not really any point. You can just boil that directly. It'd say take a lot less time. But let's... Catch that. So pick up two of these. Let's Nine, start the fire. Stoke the fire. Stoke the fire. And we got some worms and we've got some um, some spider meat, so I think we're gonna fish a little bit more. Let's see, that is seven. Oh, we got another bottle. That's nice. Found a fishing net in the water. Oh, we got an exterior boost and we got a shark up here. Hmm. Well. Unfortunately, Shark, you are no match for me, surprisingly. Granted, if there was more than one Shark, that would not have gone quite as well. <laughs> Alright, well, we don't have bones to go with this, so we might just we'll probably just cook and eat <laughs> the offal there. Let's cook the Shark steak still. I could actually have surprisingly high durability for meat. Most meats don't have very high durability. Let's actually try to make some uh, pemmican out of the tainted meat in this offal here. All right, our spear broke. That's fine. We can just make another because we kind of need to anyway. Let's uh, strip this. Strip. Got some cooked fishes now. We're gonna grab one of these. Uh, I know we've got like a sharp rock somewhere. Let's sort through and find the best one. Great to at some point we're gonna be probably have more um, more glue anyway, so we can just dirt like um, fortify the thing we're making now. But if we could just make a stronger one off from the offset, that could give us an even bigger boost. Alright, so that is a 18 sharp granite. That's a wooden pole there, and. Let's see, that's gonna use. Uh, I think one string? Yep, one string, so let's make sure that this uh, superior quality string is the, at the top of the list, because it starts crafting from the top down. Okay, and that got us, that's a pretty okay spear. And that's gonna go in our backpack here. 
because that is our new cooking utensil. Because you use spears to cook with. Maybe not forever, but I know you definitely do at this point. Okay, the shark fin. I'll probably eventually just rot into like rot, just, you know, rot. <laughs> but you can use make fertilizer and stuff, so it's not useless, but it's not really useful right now. Let's put these shark teeth in here. In the event that this knife finally breaks, actually, we can probably have it. Um, it's the same. It's the same tier as granite knife, but for dismantling stuff, these shark teeth will get used first, which is fine by me because I don't think they have a use other than like cutting or butchering stuff. So if we dismantle things, I think the uh, shark teeth will get used first. Hello, motherfucker. Hello. Welcome. How are you doing today, Alexander? I hope you're doing good. We are playing Wayward. It's a nice little ro roguelike survival game. I've been meaning to get back to playing it for quite some time. Oh, we got two extra bottles out of fishing. That's actually kind of strong, just being able to catch bottles like that. In fact, we're going to just drop them over here because we don't need them right now. I'll just drop the bottles there. We got we, we caught a fishing net while fishing with the fishing pole as well, so it's kind of funny. Uh, oh, we were going to make some pemmican out of the tainted meat and this these giblets here. There we go. Pemmican also just doesn't have a shelf life, like it just lasts forever. It's like it's ideal traveling food. <laughs> doot, doot. <laughs> Let's see. We're gonna eat this fish. I don't know how much hunger it gives. Six. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, eating the fish gives us bone fragments? That's actually great. We also killed a shark. We, like, fought it. We, we killed it with an axe. <laughs> we'll keep those bone fragments on the floor. Like, a lot of the storage right now is just on the floor because we don't really have anywhere else to put them. Private underscore Psychic has joined the Bean Army. Thank you for the follow, Private Psychic. How are you doing today? <clears throat> Let's see. Hope you're doing good. We got this fertile soil that we're gonna be placing down. But first, we need to get rid of these trees, but we're gonna rest on the ground first, get some stamina back. Because working on low or no stamina is not advised. You tend to take damage. Granted, you can just sleep and heal it back up anyway, but. Speaking of which, Seriously? Did, did I not use enough stuff? Oh, crab rave. The water didn't purify. <laughs> so we'll dismantle these sticks and we'll just start another fire anyway. And we'll use these. I'm I'm, all, I'm almost certain I put planks on here. Sweet. That's yeah, another reason why I would prefer to just get to like making molten glass and stuff instead of dealing with these these other kinds of getting water. Cause it's kind of relying on that being done how I thought it was supposed to be done. But anyway, well we got some more stamina, so we're gonna chop down this tree. Well, these trees rather. Maybe I won't right right away because my my inventory's full. I mean, you can have as much stuff in your inventory. Come on, cover me while I'm casting keys. It's just it's based off of weight, and if you're overweight, you'll start taking damage from carrying too much stuff. Because this game is just mean. This is a mean game. Uh, let's put these branches down. Move all these leaves to this little bag. Same with all these twigs. That's my way of helping keep my inventory just a little less fucked up. I mean, it's fucked up anyway, but it's at least a little less fucked up. 
drop all the strip bar. Uh, we can just craft the strip bark into stuff. Matter of fact, let's make sure we get rid of the strip bark first, because yeah, it's just kind of not very useful. Other than making string. There we go. Let's drop the string as well. Drop all normal strings. Looks like we got. Looks like we made a pretty good string. That'd be good for if we're making another a tool or something. Oh, looks like looks like we got some uh, more. Water. Looks like looks like it wasn't quite long enough to make the water go. It usually is. Whatever. We'll just drink more water. Touch this container, we'll grab like some more. Those. And I guess we'll see if that's enough to, to boil the water. I don't know if it's gonna be. Because historically, if the fire is if it says the fire is struggling, that's usually long enough for it to do that, but Maybe it's just not quite enough. That's okay. We're gonna sleep anyway. Yep. It's <laughs> kind of the, that's kind of the feeling. Just to see when our character wakes up. If it was long enough, because. Looks like it was. Maybe it's just we slept so long it just kind of finished it anyway. Who cares? I don't. I know I don't. I just want it to <laughs> want the water because we need the water. We we'll just have a big pile of ashes over here. Let's grab our water. Drink said water. We'll eat a, shark, a, a fish steak. Alexander121 underscore 2 has joined the Bean Army. Thanks for the follow, Alexander. Let's see. Like, we'll, we'll start another fire at this point. Just, uh, unfortunately, the character needs water to live. I guess that's realistic. We'll just leave that alone because we got other stuff to be doing. Like cutting out. Just cutting these trees down. Up all normal logs. Branch on the ground over here too. Organized chaos. I just got all this stuff in piles on the beach. <laughs> oh, that that tree gave me four logs. That would explain why I was overweight there. Oops. Usually they give you only three, but I think since our uh, lumberjacking is getting higher, we have chances to get more. Which would be quite good for when we uh, need to build more stuff out of wood. Like chests and all that. We're just... Okay, that pile's full. <laughs> uh, let's see, that is... Hello, motherfucker! <laughs> Hope you're having a good time with the sound things. I mean, that's honestly why I have them, is so that people can just, you know, have a good time with them. Uh, what do we have there? Tumbleweed seeds and beef sand. Let's drop those. Let's see. Move all our twigs here. 
uh, pine needles, spruce needles, whatever. The needles, move them. <laughs> Let's drop all the tree bark. I'll probably just drop all these. These spruce cones are annoying because you have to dismantle them and then you can plant them. So I don't really like dealing with them. So we're just going to drop over here and just light them on fire. Uh, let's see, that was nine, I think. Yeah. And they'll just burn and make more ash. Which I think you eventually can use ash to make like concrete or something. So it's not, not really a, a, anything lost per se. Yep, you can see them over there like taking damage. And the game's like, uh oh. Alright. So let's grab six, and we're gonna continue preparing this area for growing stuff. Six months! Thank you so much, Mavis, Haley. Spriggy Mavis, Spriggy Mavis, Spriggy Mavis, Spriggy Mavis, Spriggy, Mavis, Spriggy six months. Oh, there's a goat over there! Thanks so much for stopping in, Haley. Appreciate you very much. Matter of fact, let's give you a shout out since you do a lot of good streaming things yourself. And I do not want that to go unrewarded. I saw your clip from, I think, maybe yesterday where, like, you got jump scared at, in Dark Souls 3. That was great. Let's see. Likewise to you, Haleen. Let's see. Plus, I get lots of see. We can do. I have that clip thingy. So we can see a clip. Maybe we can. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh yeah, Haleen plays a lot of Final Fantasy XIV, so if that's something you're into, you should go check them out. I mean, you should go check them out anyway, but yeah. <laughs> Um, all I knew was that okay, it's working. The only thing I regret is that I'm not enjoying the kills. I should have <laughs> them more. I am thoroughly I'm really enjoying all the the, pr the pre VTuber era, yeah, I know that feeling. I, I think I did like one stream with a webcam before, and then I was like, no, we're not doing this anymore. And then VTubing happened, so then I didn't have to. Like I jumped on that shit immediately. I was like, "Oh wow, you can just we can just do that." And the answer is yes, yes you can. Thank you so much, Haley. Later, I'm gonna be playing a new Pokemon game, but right now we're just playing this until lunchtime. But thanks for the lurk. Let's see, uh, five. We need a little bit of dirt to cover up some of these areas. So if you set down dirt, that area is now dirt instead of gravel. Oh, well, that well eventually that will be need, need to be tilled anyway. I think uh, five. Oh wait, there's clay under here. Well, that's good. I can use that. Right. Set that down. Oh, might as well dig up this clay while we're here. Clay is historically kind of hard to find, so I'm not not really that upset about finding some free clay somewhere. Ooh, water's done. Just drop this on the beach with everything else. <laughs> and we got a bit of dirt there. Right now we are planning a garden. And that garden will include fences to keep fucking goats out. No! Oh, uh, we could try taming this goat, I guess. Oh, it, it did get tamed. It forbids the grass to a goat and appeared to be a peas. <laughs> so now the goat will just follow us around. We might be able to milk it, actually. Would, would you provide us with the, the deliciousness? The goat is not producing milk yet, okay. Uh, I think we could... Let's see. Hitching post. That's kind of what I want. Because we're going to get a hitching post and then we could tie this goat up to the hitching post and they can just hang out. 
probably what we're gonna end up doing. And then we can just drop them a bunch of like grass to keep them nice and happy. All right, so yeah, make a rope out of the some of this stuff on the ground, and then we'll go to this pile, this log pile here, and we'll make a hitching post because you can craft things from the piles that are on the ground, which can be useful. Like, if, especially if there are like a lot of heavy things, like logs, you can just stay next to them with some of the lighter components and just craft a bunch of stuff. Let's see, a hitching post. There we go. And we're gonna pro we're gonna put our little goat friend there. We'll drop the hitch. We'll probably put it uh like right over here. We'll uh, build and a uh, hitch. There we go. The goat is now hanging out there, and they are dismayed. Let's um offer them some grass. They appear to be appeased, so we're gonna just drop a bunch of grass. Actually, we're gonna drop all the leaves. Cause there's, there's like 12 leaves there now. We can use the grass to start fires anyway, so. That's fine. The goat will just, now the goat will just be out of our way and. Okay, we don't wanna break that. Cause that's, we're gonna be planting grass around the edges of our little garden. It's so like right here is where it's gonna also be at. Let's see, let's put down this dirt I'm gonna go dig up a little bit more because we need like two more pieces okay because this gravel is not very useful to us right now I think there might be some plants that can only grow on gravel because like some plants need like the extra like stuff to grip on like rocks to grow properly okay so we're gonna start just digging all these patches of grass up which will once it only gets more grass blades to probably tame goats with because the goat is taking leaves from the ground has become tamed the goat ate one leaf and it's retamed again yeah this is gonna be a work in progress Purified water. Can we see if it is? It's purified water. Okay. Uh, well, we got another fish steak we can eat. Let's do that. Delicious shark. The shark decided it wanted to pick a fight, and it's not a fight it could win. Mostly because we actually have some combat skill now, and we have like a shield and armor, so we can. The shark can still damage us fairly easily, but they don't have much HP to back it up with, so it's not a big deal. Okay, drink the water, mmm, tasty. Probably wasted some of the hydration stuff, but like, whatever. All right, let's grab one of these planks, not planks, we're gonna grab one of these um, logs, dismantle. Start fire, stoke it with the planks from the log. And honestly, I probably just stoke it with these two as well, just to make sure that. Okay, yeah, the fire is definitely gonna work now. All right, so let's see, one, two, three, four. We're gonna have a. It'd be more ideal if we could have this a l just like a little farther away because if we have like a fertile dirt here like we'll just go ahead and put the fertile dirt down so a fertile dirt here like it, it can spread in like the 
area all around there. Or maybe we'll just um, have this area over here for propagating plants and this one over here can just be for like just growing stuff instead. Because if you plant stuff on the fertile dirt when it grows, it will spread to nearby tiles. Alright, well, let's, speaking of nearby tiles, let's start getting this grass planted down. Oh, hello. You fucker. Just nibbled on me while I was walking towards it. Rude. Let's rip it apart. Alright, so that's all the grass cleared out of the area, but we gotta plant some more grass in the area, like in the outsides, because that's where we're gonna have fence posts to protect our, uh, our plants from getting smudged on. Hardy Roman animal that has horns, a frisky, lively creature, but dangerous and provoked, ramming at its target with much force. It's tame and appears dismayed, that's fine, it'll eat, it'll eat some more, uh, some more leaves once it's time to oh speaking of more there's another shark let's fight this one too i guess ow okay yeah okay shark's dead we're gonna use one of these uh, sutures to cut up cut up close our wound and also heal us, and then we're gonna... We're essentially just surviving off of, like, sharks right now for food, because we don't have anything planted, really, and, well... Stuff's still growing around the map anyway that we gotta wait on, so we can... Do the whole, uh... Whole song and dance of... Um, growing things. Okay, so let's grab a little bit of water from the shore here. Specifically so we can combine the water with these uh, guts we got from the shark and the bone fragments I got from a fish. Make some glue. Also cook this, these fish steaks while we're at it, because that's just gonna be that's just good food. Uh, what was I going to reinforce next? Probably not that, because I think I already did. Um, oh, I think my um, stone spear, actually, because we're going to use that to cook a lot of things. So, reinforcing that would be wise, so we can just have the same spear for a long time. So we don't have to make, like, spear after spear after spear. Which you can just do, but then you just start running out of resources for no good reason, other than you were lazy. Alright, so... We're actually gonna rest on the ground briefly. We rested for about two hours. Hell yeah. Let's see. Water's good to go. <laughs> Let's see. I'm surprised we don't get any worms when we're digging up all that stuff, but. Felt your dexterity increasing. I don't know what that even does for you. Like, I don't know what dexterity does. Um. Hmm. Well, that's a much greater, um. It's a much greater explanation of defense than there used to be. Hmm. Yeah, this game's come a fairly long way from where it has been in the past. Alright, so we got this cleared out. We just gotta have to, like, wait. So maybe we can go ahead and plant, um... We can dig this up and we can plant one of these, uh, 
one of these cucumber seeds here because cucumbers are what I want to be growing here. At least for now. And what we can do with the other cucumber seed we have is we can just go plant it down here and hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. There's like two goats out in the forest now. Well, I mean, if I came to we could tame them and take them home, but that would up that would increase the consumption rate. I do not yet have fruit, seeds, or spores. Ripening, huh? Well, we can, uh... Get some carrots from it. Well, we can replant this carrot, I guess, or we can, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we got some carrot seeds. We'll just plant them here. No reason not to, I guess, and then we'll plant these, um, cucumber seeds, too. Well, it looks like we got some lettuce that's, like, self-propagated itself here. Healthy-looking root vegetable, orange in color and full nutri nutrients. Both the taproot and leaves are edible. Sweet. Like, this POI down here is kind of nice because it, it comes with fertile soil, which lets you spread plants around as they mature to their max. They'll spread a little bit. Ooh, we got slime. Slimes are great. Aw. We, we offed it immediately. That's unfortunate. That's not the end of the world, though chicken over there like you can make a you can you can do us the, the same process as I've been doing with um, the same process I was doing with making animal glue you can do that with slime as well to also make like like gelatin or slime glue or whatever so what are we gonna upgrade next uh, Good morning, Twitchy Charlie. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. We are playing. We are currently playing Wayward, which is a roguelike survival game that's also turn-based. So it's just a, ni a nice trifecta of weirdness. We are currently not dead, so that's pretty good. Sleepy. Well, hopefully you can, I guess, wake up or something. <laughs> I don't really know a, a, a conduct. A, productive thing to say to the other end. Well, hopefully you can wake up soon. <laughs> I don't know. Brain brain not brain slash ice cream machine not hooked up. Let's see. I think we need like a bowl or something to do anything with these carrots. So we're probably just gonna end up just eating them whole. But I just made some slime glue. We're gonna see if we can reinforce something in our one of our tools or something. Um, honestly, the shields probably gonna be with us a lot longer than any of the other wooden pieces of armor. So we're gonna repair it and then reinforce it so we just have a the sh good shield for a while. Well, we're gonna try at least. Okay, that's got a lot of durability. It's also like 280 credits now. Jeez, that's a pretty expen that's an expensive wooden shield. Anyway, we're just kind of exploring around right now. We're gonna, we're gonna pass by the base camp again on the way to um. Uh, I guess we should probably do something with these um. This lettuce that's growing here. Like, we'll get the seeds from it and replant them. Go plant it in this little bit here. No reason not to. It's just passive, just making more food while we're just out and about. We 
got some carrots. That's cucumbers. Um, yeah, we'll wait for that carrot to grow the rest of the way so it can give us some seeds. Because ideally, ideally you get to the point where you can um, just have have a bunch of uh, produce grown and growing, so that you can just eat food and not have to drink as much water. Because currently the process of getting water is labor, labor intensive. Let's see, 4k versus, the, wow, those carrots have long shelf life, we'll hold on to those. Let's eat this, these fish steaks first. Let me make sure that they're cooked. <laughs> Don't want to eat, well, I mean, probably, the, probably want to kill you, but like, probably don't want to eat raw fish on a desert island by yourself. It's probably not a good idea. Well, lettuce has pretty good shelf life, too. Let's eat this one, because it just looks different. Well, that's not bad. Okay. Let's grab this, detach this water container. We got just a, a glass bottle of desalinated water. Alright, well, we have to kind of wait for this grass to grow before I can do much with the stuff from it anyway. So we're going to just start... Oh, there's a spider in my house? Why the fuck is there a spider in my house? Fucker. Oh, it's, just been sh it's been shitting and farting silk everywhere. Well, that wasn't uh, planned. But, well, alright. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> well, I don't know why there was a spider in here. It's weird. Like, I've got this place enclosed. There's, like, a campfire and, like, my little bedroll. Hey, I'll take all this free silk, though. Let's just pick up all the stuff and we'll likely place the plank back down on the floor where it came from. Yeah, we can use all this silk to, uh... Yeah, we can use all this silk to just, like, um... make like cordage and stuff uh, drop all grass seeds because we got a bunch of grass seeds uh, tin ore with scissors that's a shirt and what you can do is you can tame a spider with like some meat and then like kind of hitch it to somewhere and then it'll just produce a bunch of silk like this for you legitimately probably end up doing that at some point with a snake like taming it with like some meat or something probably meat is what you need and then the snake will just passively give you some scales we're likely gonna do that when we have a higher uh, taming skill so we don't have as much of a chance to fail because if you if you fail taming an animal it might attack you and snakes can be poisonous <laughs> so we're not trying to we're not trying to die immediately at least yeah our next uh, thing after we sleep well, before we sleep we're gonna get this thing going with some more water uh, is there any okay there's some ashes we'll just put it with the, with the rest of them just just a big ash pile on the beach a big ash ash pile I don't know what it is with this game, but it my my OBS settings do not like it. Like I've, I've been constantly seeing like encoding warnings, despite this being very much not a intensive game. Like my CPU is not even one percent right now, and it's just uh, yeah, like almost constantly a game just like oh encoding error or some shit. I was like why really why. Why you gotta do? Why you gotta do this to me, game? I'm just trying to have a nice time on Twitch. All right. Well, bitching aside, we're gonna get some more water going. And the reason I don't really like using these is you have to like start a fire to use these, and that's just. Can okay, we need not step on that? That's still growing. Granted, the solution to that is just. Uh, burn all the contents of a log. 
one starting to fire. Oh yeah, we have to attach a water container. We'll use one of these bottles, because we've just kind of caught them while fishing anyway. Okay, and then we'll stoke fire, stoke fire. I think a tree branch just landed on top of my house. Not like a big one, but like I could definitely hear something fall. Or maybe that was just like a I don't know. Alright. Well, that fire should be more than good enough now to do stuff with. So we could probably just sleep on the beach, Let's drink some water, and then we're gonna go uh, night night on the beach. Sleepy time junction. We slept for nine hours in the sand. Let me do what you gotta do, and hey, we got some more water. Now let's eat another fish steak. Drink our water, and we'll make some more. Because unfortunately, at this point, we're like hand to mouth, basically, with everything. We'll drop this bottle again. We don't need that right now. I'll grab another log. We'll dismantle it. It's given us a warning that a shark teeth is close to being destroyed, but that's fine because I intentionally put the shark teeth ahead of my knife when so when I dismantle stuff, I'll use these shark teeth up instead of my knife. And you, there's an awful lot of dismantling that goes on in this game. Okay, let's stoke the fire with these planks. Stoke, stoke. Stoke. That brought... Doing this method of stoking things probably guarantees that the water will boil, but it uses a little more resources than I'd prefer. But that's fine. We we don't use all of the tree bark. We still get one when we cut a log up. Okay, that grass is still at the point where we can't step on it because it's growing. Same with that. That's fine. Okay, and we got a little goat here, just kind of hanging out. Let's see. Pick up excrement with hands. You pet a goat. It appears to enjoy your caress. It's still agitated. That's okay. I wonder if it'll give us some milk now. It did, but it also tried to it also tried to attack me because I think it lost its taming briefly. <laughs> see, goats are ornery as hell. They don't care. Okay, then we got some uh, goat milk. I got a strong feeling you can make cheese, but I just don't know how to do it, so we'll just end up drinking the goat milk later. Ooh, this apple tree has survived getting trampled by goats and all manner of other garbage. These, one, these ones also survived. They will eventually give us apples, which we can just use as extra food. But anyway, our, our current needs have been fulfilled, so we are going to get all these uh, how many leaves are still over there? Seven. A puddle of goat milk on the ground. Okay. Um, I'm going to drop all these blades of grass. And now that goat's just going to be happy for like, till the end of time. Be passively raising our taming skill too. So even better. All right. First things first. I think this is as big as I want this room to be, so we're gonna start digging out another room. We're also gonna turn the drop on gather option so that we don't get our inventory full of rocks.
We're also gonna have another exit to our play our base down here. Mm, maybe not. Well, it's a little late for it now, but we'll have a wall and then a door here. And yeah, we got a strength level up. As your strength goes up, your carry capacity goes up by one each time. You do more damage, but you also get a pretty noticeable gain in malignity. So that's why I have a bunch of this uh, benignity built up, so that it doesn't make bad things happen. Because if your if your malign is higher than your benign, um, not fun things can spawn, and they will try to kill you immediately. That's good. That's actually good to find for future um, just future. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but just future uh, like smithing endeavors. Granite of featherweight, huh? Yeah, I haven't even looked at any of these piles of stuff because there's probably some decent rocks in here to use to make like. Tools is another strength. Okay, that's another strength level. That's not bad. Uh, let's rest in our little our little bed here. <laughs> Just take a nap in the little leaf roll here. Okay, we rested for two hours. Got a nice amount. Let's drink this goat milk. See what it does for us. 20 stamina, say to 2 hunger, quench 5 thirst. It's not quite as good of thirst for, um, it's not as quite good for thirst as water is, but, I mean, oh crap. I'll be glad when, I'll be glad when these, this grass is done growing. Right. Hello, little goat. Are you tamed? Uh, we can try to see if we can get some more milk from you. I don't. Okay, it doesn't have any more milk right now. That's okay. There are other goats we could go wrangle up and try to hitch to this post, but you might only be able to hitch one goat to one post. We can just make another hitching post. It's not hard. It's like a rope and some logs. And we can just put another goat right here. Well, maybe not right there, but we can put another goat nearby. We probably need to move this whole situation a little further up the beach, because where this grass is growing now, there's going to be fence posts there to keep things out of our... Uh... Okay, nice. Those shark fins turned to rotten meat. Which is what I wanted them to do, because we can use the rotten meat to make a... Uh... Compost. That's pemmican. Uh, where was that? Uh, in fact, we can put that like at the top here to ensure that it is that that is used to make compost. And then you can use uh, compost. I think you can use that with um, dirt to make the fertile soil that I have. Like right there. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. We're gonna put this hitching post here. Kinda wanna wait till this goat tames again before I go grabbing. You no, know, we'll just grab the grass. We'll drop leaves there and then we're gonna drop like. We got 13 grass there and like some we'll be, some leaves here. We'll just drop because we'll just have two goats hanging out over here. Because actually we need like one grass to try to actually tame the forest the forest goats. 
Let's go find one of the forest goats. Oh, we got some more apple trees growing here. Just kind of like, because when you eat apples, they just, they always give you the seeds, which is nice. Rabbit, there's a chicken. We're not going to bother either of them. There's, I think the goats were further down, like over here. Oh, yep, there's one. All right, let's, just, let's try to appease the goat. It accepted, and it is now our little friend. Now, goats, you can have these, like, if these, if you're fighting something, I think they will help you fight things, but we're not really, like, doing a fucking rabbit. They're on thin fucking ice. Yeah, we're gonna... And then we'll do hitch. And now a goat is there forever. Even if it, um, untames... It will just be stuck to the hitch forever now. <laughs> Let's get this scaredest rabbit away. Go on, get. Go on, get. <laughs> uh, let's eat these. Start eating these vegetables. <laughs> good, good shelf life. Just gonna drop this shark fin. There is another shark up there. We're gonna fish and wait for the other sh that shark to come after us. Fish is like literally like right next to me. Okay. Well, we're gonna try to fight the shark. As you can see, they do more damage to us than we do to them. Uh, sh no, not fair. You're, you're not you're not allowed to bring friends. <laughs> you know, like, screw you guys. Granted, we could uh, have better armor. Or more, or more armor, rather, to make things more in our favor. Because right now we don't have a helmet, gloves, or like a neck piece, or even a belt. So that's less. That's that's just armor value that's not being represented. All right, so we're gonna just make a bunch of a bunch more string. Thankfully, that spider that got accidentally trapped in um, my base make, just made a bunch of silk pieces while I was like existing. So, yeah, I figure having two goats with, with more we, that we can milk like every other day or so. I don't know when they give you milk. But those will help supplement our water usage. The injured shark is avoiding us. Fucking coward. <laughs> Yeah, I feel, I feel if we can find some more rats and make some armor, more better armor rather, then we'd have a better time against these sharks. I feel like we could make a... Uh, let me actually look at a... Leather stuff, let me see. Like leather gloves give um, base defense, one slashing defense. I'm trying to see what tack type the shark was using. Uh, 
Let's see, shift right click. Can't really see what its attack type is. I'm guessing it's probably, like, my armor's, um... Is vulnerable to, um, piercing, so that's probably what kind of damage the shark is using. Makes sense. It's got sharp teeth. Um... Which I think all my armor is weak to piercing, so... Like, these boots against piercing only give, like, one defense. Actually, they might not give any defense overall if you're something using piercing. I don't know. It's it could be a little confusing. <clears throat> that being said, we are, are getting plus this three defense in general from having another having us like a weapon and a shield, so that's good. Uh... Okay, I, I see how the defense rolls are are adding up. We've got four blunt defense, one slash defense, <laughs> and we're pretty bad against the rest. So we might actually make this um, stuff and these, like, let's see how the, because we can make fur armor, I believe, if we um, take these furs with us and go over here. Let's see. Fur boots, you got a fur coat, and you got fur gloves or mittens. And defense wise, Oh wow, those actually might be useful to have against the sharks because they give you um, they're they get they they are they have a vulnerability to blunt, but the rest of our armor has that anyway. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think it will make some for for mittens. We'll put those on. That gives us another defense, which means the shark should do a little less damage at the very least. Otherwise, we're going to dismantle the rest of these hides. Yep, we know. We're, ver we're very well aware that dismantling the, the, the shark tooth will get destroyed, but that's fine because we are kind of just counting on that, actually. Gonna drop, we're gonna drop this uh, superior tree bark somewhere, and we're gonna make some. We need uh, two tannin, and then we'll drop the rest of the bark. All right, and then we can use that tannin to make some uh, tan leather. Now let's very carefully observe like our defense values here. <clears throat> yeah, I think all the rest of the leather pieces only give plus one defense. I think that I think they only really take one leather piece anyway, so it's not a bad deal. Yeah, let's make a leather cap and then a gorget. Your bone needles need a repair, and eh, it's fine. All right, we got a nice little hat now. Look a little silly, but you know what? That's fine. And equip to neck so that we have 13 defense, but I think we have like. So we have, we have 13 defense, but we have minus 5 piercing. So overall, that means against piercing, we have 8 defense. So that's better than where we were. Like surely. I guess it's time to put it to the test with these sharks. Because they're, they're still around. <laughs> A 
Okay, that's much better. Wow. They're only doing one damage to me that time. Oh, fuck you. Holy shit, we're a badass now. <laughs> Sharks can't even land. They can barely even hit me, let alone hurt me. Look at all this shark meat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy. I'm the apex predator now. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that doesn't mean we have a bunch of this, this awful here. We can make that into sinew. Which I think what we're just going to do is make it into sinew. That gets us some good cordage. We'll just uh... okay, and I got us another decent string there, and then we'll put that one there. And we got like heaps of these little shark tooths to use as cutting things now, which is going to save our durability of this even more. Granted, we use, we use a granite knife durability when I have the hotkey down here to... No, we'll just keep it as use any granite knife there. But yeah, when I do use the hotkey down here on my hotbar for 8, to get up corpses, it direct it does use the knife, but whenever we're doing dismantling stuff, these are higher in the list because the order of use goes top and left. So, like if I had a shark tooth up here and had one down here, it will always use the one in the top left first for uh, dismantling or whatever. So, and these shark teeth are free from the sharks anyway, so I, there's no reason for me not to use them. Let's get these shark fins that we can use for. Um, we can let them uh, decay into rot to make more <laughs> fertilizer with. So, plus all these shark steaks are just like we're, we're set for food for at least a little bit, which lets us just focus even more on doing other shit. Let's get all these ashes and we'll drop them all. I swear, this encoding thing's annoying me, and later on, when I'm streaming Scarlet, it's probably not going to show up at all. Then again, during lunch, I might, like, look at the settings and see if maybe there is some sort of, like, faster encoding thing, because turning on the settings is not the problem. I'll tell you that, because my computer is a lot better than the old computer I had. By, like, by like, a noticeable margin. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's get some more water made. Attach that. Grab one of these logs. We'll dismantle it. Start the fire. Stoke the fire. Stoke the fire. Stoke the fire with one of these. And let's see, these fish steaks are tastier cooked. Don't mind if I do. And if we were and if we were really pressed to make these last longer, we could just we could smash them together and make pemmican. And if we have animal fat from other animals, I think we can combine pemmican with animal fat to make it like even better pemmican. Yeah, we're just holding on to this pemmican as like an emergency ration. Otherwise, we're gonna just hold on to these shark steaks and keep them handy. Although, I, if I'm not mistaken, if if a if food is in a uh, container, it will last a lot longer so we're probably gonna try to utilize that we're just gonna clear out the space where these things are going to put some walls there
Our inventory is a little weighed down, but then again, we do have a few pieces more of gear. I've also had this fishing net that I don't have any use for, so we're gonna probably put it over here, I guess. Do we place it or cast it? You attempt to catch a fish without bait, but it appears uninterested. Uh, we'll just uh, drop this for now. Save some room. Okay, we'll drop this. Bark as well. Drop the bark. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna clear out this bit here because we're gonna have. Some, we're gonna go fetch a wall and um, some other stuff. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna finish this coffee here and I have some actual water. This is where we're gonna have the door. So we're gonna go, we're gonna head down, uh, I guess, technically south. And we'll uh, go grab the uh, wall and stuff. Oh, hello, slime. Get off the fucking cucumbers, <laughs> jackass. Well, I was gonna die anyway because the gelatin is nice to have. Yeah, I think, wow, it's a little farther south than I thought. Alright. What is this? Did a goat destroy that tree or something? Huh. Alright, it's, it's, it's a bit farther south than I expected it to be. Yep, there's this, this cabin that generated here, and we can take the, we can like pick up the door. And we might be able to even carry this uh, wall with us too. Not quite. Um, I mean, if we wanted to try hard, we could uh, like drop and then pick it up the whole way back. But that's 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 silly. We're not gonna do that. We are going to just get the wall back, and we'll go get. We'll come back and get the door. Might even like just empty out our inventory because we aren't that much overweight to carry both the wall and the door with us, so. We could probably manage it once we uh, lose, a, lose some a little bit of space here. Like, we're, I think like we have got some like carrots and shit on us too, so let's uh. uh I mean, they're not that heavy, but we'll just drop like this stuff here. Here. Um, we don't need these water skins on us at the moment, so we'll probably just put them in this pile too. Oh yeah, that should definitely be more than enough uh, weight to carry the stuff back now. Frankly, I'm surprised I haven't like stumbled into that goat in the middle of the night. That's I think there's still a goat kind of living in this general area that we haven't tamed. Bad form on my part. I should. Oh, hello. <laughs> Got a little friend. Oh, well, they're not really a friend, <laughs> but you know. Uh, we'll get them in a bit. We'll take them back with us probably, but we need to get this wall in this door more than anything because right now our our base is wide open so if we're trying to like sleep something stuff can just like come into our house and just wake us up constantly so we're gonna avoid that by um closing it back up real quick 
Now I have the means to make these walls and these doors, but by not making them myself, I save myself some uh, m b um, malign and benign. Oh, here's the, here's the right. I know it's somewhere. Oh come on, really? Uh, we can uh we can eat one of these uh, fish steaks. Ah, delicious. The weight loss, the weight loss guy of the century. Eat food to lose weight. It's funny as this is the joke about that. Like some people's like metabolisms are so high that they have to constantly eat or they will literally starve. I actually like in the in the military, I had a, I had a pal that was was that way. Like literally, like dude had to always have food on him. He, he, he got the nickname Chips, because he'd always have like a bag of chips or something with them. Which is funny, but it's also, it's like, damn, that sucks. That's like the polar opposite of like... I don't know, like, being hungry and then being like fat. Because, I mean, that's me. <laughs> that's me! Uh, wood chest, six planks? Okay, that's gonna be like three logs. We're gonna sleep first, though. Because now we're... Ew, uh, sorry about that. Bezos is like trying to milk it for all it's worth. It was not by my hand that I made ads. <laughs> it just kind of happened because I'm an affiliate. But welcome. Don't know if I precisely know how to pronounce your username. Let's see. Lim Elimwu? I probably said that completely wrong. <laughs> but, but, but welcome. Sorry about the ads. Uh, we, we're gonna take a little sleep here on the ground. Oh, Eli, okay. That works. Gonna rest here in our little house, our little cave house. Uh, hopefully the, the stream's not too choppy. My OBS has been, like, complaining about, like, um, encoding shit the entire time, but, like, The meow like the kitty. <laughs> so are you saying that's Eli meow, or am I just being completely goofy and saying thinking the wrong thing? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, there's a rat. Hello, rat. Rat's dead. <laughs> Cause I, I'm I'm normally bad with names. Eli meow. Okay, cool. I also want to get names correct, but I'm just bad. Oh, you lie, Mew. Okay. Like Mew instead of Meow, I think. Oh, Mew, like Mew too. Gotcha. because we are currently dehydrating to death even though like we're clearly still perfectly fine we took like one damage from dehydration but if you don't have the means to get water that can be a death sentence thankfully we do how are, go how are the goats doing they might be able to just give us some milk that we can just continue drinking the fat of the land yep we've got two goats On everything else but Twitch. Oh no! And Twitch is like, hey, guess what? You don't get to have that username. Fuck you. <laughs> what was going on? Oh. Oh, these um. Oh, that was. Those are probably. That's probably awful. There that we got. That went bad. Well, the rot can go with the rest of the stuff that's rotting over here in the corner. skins Yeah, hey, that's okay. I I've made it myself and I'm probably not very good at it. I probably could make it a little better, but I also just don't have as much time to work on that stuff on top of also streaming. Thank 
Thank you. I I'm actually a bean. Well, it's not always shitting on because you know, it's it's not entirely always shitting on. It's fine. I pr I appreciate the input because I don't know if anyone's ever actually com commented on my layout, <laughs> so it's not it's all right. It's all good. I'm aware that it's not super high speed because, well, I made it myself <laughs> out of necessity because I do that with everything, including my bean here. The one-eyed monster with tentacles, you know. It's, it's, it's all stuff. Yeah, I probably should make that a little more visible. Like, just bigger. And a little more in your face. Bean life, bean life. <laughs> All right, so I've got some glue I need to make before this awful goes bad. I'll grab some seawater for that purpose. Let's see, let's, well, we'll just start a fire on the beach, whatever, it's fine. I don't have any kindling, excuse me? What the hell happened there? Oh, well, probably because I'm out of kindling. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to look into making that, um, I might actually write that down on, like, a notepad somewhere. Give me a sec, actually, because I'll tell you what, I'm probably not going to remember, because I, brain, brain don't work very well sometimes, you know? Uh, so let's see on this, let's make a, another new notepad, and stuff to work on. Alimiv has joined the Bean Army. <laughs> the Twitch thingy says it completely differently, too. <laughs> uh, Twitch is just like, hey. Brain no work, either. Uh, yeah, that's part. That's probably the ADHD. <laughs> Or the autism. Your, your dealer's choice. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see. Well, oh, I was writing that, that down. Right. So stuff to work on. That being said, I was planning on making a different layout at some point, but it's just I don't have a lot of time. Layout. Needs work. Okay. And okay, cool. We got those things written down. Save that. Cool beans. I got just a just a touch. <laughs> and you know what? I will I will gladly. I I'm not afraid of people saying stuff to me anymore about that because I can just ban them. For one, for two, I just kick their ass. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Well, oh, I was gonna kindling. So we're going to dismantle this log. Sweet. I have a feeling a lot more people will do that than they would like to admit, and it just needs to be destigmatized. Like it's not the end of the world if your brain's just a little different, you know. I'll dismantle these planks to sticks or poles and we'll dismantle these yeah we'll shark do whatever and these uh, dowels can be used for kindling which apparently that's what I am out of let me see yeah I need kindling to start fire so I'm gonna turn some of these poles into kindling basically because in our current state of the game we have to make a lot of fires once we get a little further in, we could use, um, we could have, like, a, uh, solar-powered still to purify water. Yeah, that's just brain looking a, a little diff- brain working just a little differently, but like, oh, hey, blah, 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 and they're like, what? <laughs> like, they just don't get it, because they- their brain doesn't see things the same way. Thank you for the hydrate. Another 15 minutes or so I'll be into my stream for me and my roommate to do lunch. Yeah, I've been just kind of yammering for a little bit. 
but that's part of the well, not that one not the wrong bag uh, let's see was it uh, let's see minus okay there we go this little bag here is where I keep all my kindling and leaves and stuff to make fire well do not fret I'll be streaming again at noon and we'll be playing Pokemon Scarlet so I'm definitely not going anywhere because Saturday is like my big stream day like I do like extreme more or less all day absolutely feel free to join be a better way to know when I'm going live and all you know all that fun shit <laughs> I don't even know I'm bad at like selling my discord other than hey if I'm going live you can see when I'm going live there <laughs> transform oh this one's fun because um, when I transform my chest opens and there's like beans inside and like guts I, that's like my favorite part about my character is that it's like actually like nightmare fuel <laughs> and I plan to make it worse question mark like I'm gonna have like serrated like sharp teeth inside like covering like the inner ring of like the bean of like the mouth that's my, my that's my plan anyway but again I just don't have time to do a lot of this stuff because I also work a full-time job uh, move all those. Now we can start fires because I just needed some more kindling. And what we're doing with those fires is we're going to X out that, and we're going to be using make some animal glue out of the guts. If it'll if it'll work, come on. Uh. No, oh, the fire went out. <laughs> uh, do you mean in in the game or like for lunch? Because <laughs> currently in the game, I'm surviving largely on just shark meat. Because oh, IRL, not sure. Me and my roommate have like me and my roommate try to have a system where we write down like a list of stuff we eat for the week. But sometimes we're just we just can't stick to it because. We're both neurodivergent people, so sometimes we either just don't have the energy or the brain to, you know, cook stuff, so it just kind of depends. So right now, I don't have a concrete answer for you. <laughs> but, I mean, Taco Bell's not bad. It all else fails, I'm sure we could probably go do that. <laughs> anyway, I, I think I was trying to drop some glue and the fire went out. There we go. And... We're, also, we're gonna grab some more seawater. The reason I use seawater to make this glue like this is because seawater is fucking everywhere and it's basically infinite. And you need you need like a fluid to craft this glue. Uh oh, what's wrong with your gut? Does it like not like Taco Bell or does it not like cheese or? Let's see. Okay, now with this glue we can. Oh, we're just gonna craft this. Oh, tainted meat. Diverticulitis. I'm surprised I said that probably correct the first time. Uh, what does that entail? It's It sounds like something where, like, food doesn't go the right way or something, but I have no idea because I've never seen this word before right now. Ah, oh, that sucks. Peanuts or tiny seeds. Hmm, that's unfortunate. That, that, like, gates off a lot of good food, unfortunately. Okay, so I got this glue that I probably should use before it decays. Divertic S. Sweet. And that's the thing with, like, a lot of these, like, like food-based things, is people take it for granted that, what like, just what you can't do. Like, I don't have too many things like that myself, but, like... I definitely can sympathize with like just not being able to eat something because your body just literally won't let you or it will punish you severely speaking of which there's good pal Hachiko <laughs> no no raspberries oh yeah that fucking sucks hey. <laughs> speaking speaking of bread yeah I think Hachiko you have a uh, gluten stuff, right? Like, I, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I know you can't eat, like, bread, like, normal bread. I 
I think it does say bread. <laughs> On the, uh... Oh, see you later. That's... Your, br your brain will just die. <laughs> uh... Oh. <laughs> uh, what should I do? Let's see. Any of this armor a little worse for wear. Uh, let's, uh... Reinforce the slime blue with these little mittens I made. And I'll make them have a bit more durability. And now we have animal glue. Uh, so let's see, what's... We use this axe for a lot. So we're gonna repair it, and then we're gonna try to reinforce it with more glue. And now it is more powerful. Yeah, that's like a big thing, I would imagine, is that bread's literally everywhere. So, I can, I can imagine it's difficult. Well, at the very least, if I got one thing done, it was, um... Oh, shit. Well, I didn't mean to do that. The game's just like, hey, fuck you, do it. And I did it. Well, now I gotta pre-plant that grass. <laughs> Shit. Nope, there we go. Well, I can imagine if the noodles are made from, like, not... Like, if maybe it's, like, uh, lentils or something, I can imagine that might be the case. Because I know that I've definitely seen those kind of noodles in the store. But I also... I'm not the one with the condition, so I shouldn't. I'm not. I don't want to speak over Hachiko here, because it, it's great knowing things, but it's not great speaking over people that li have lived experience. <laughs> I try not to do that if I can avoid it. It's it's a very much a learned thing I've had to learn, because so society is a fuck. Um, Yeah, I could, yeah, it's not strictly just bread, and it's the gluten for celiac. So it's, you have to, like, I would imagine you have to watch, like, recipe lists or whatever, like a freaking hawk, to make sure you're not gonna, like, ingest freaking gluten and then, like, turn into a balloon or just have, like, just bad shit happen to you. Speaking of which, we got, is this goat milk? Mmm. We have two. We have goats, by the way. Yeah, gl gluten's everywhere. It's pretty. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna even get close to that grass because I want it to regrow. This grass needs to grow. Well, I mean, the base is a mess, but we have another room, and we're gonna eventually make a like furnace out of this. Matter of fact, we'll just do a kill now. Fail to craft a granite kiln due to lack of skill. It's likely you will not be able to craft a granite kiln without many failures. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, that that's that's gnarly. It's like you're trying to like just eat anything, and it's like, hmm. Good luck. Good luck eating anything, ever. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna try to make a uh, furnace now too. We'll take a little bit of damage doing this, but I could care less. If we have to sleep, we'll just heal it anyway. Oh yeah, I can imagine pizza rolls are a no-go if you've got like gluten stuff, because like the roll part. Yeah, like gluten is a chewy thing. Oh, I, I can imagine 
uh, somebody that lives like in a place where it's almost exclusively like Asian food would have a fucking nightmare scenario trying to like eat stuff without being feeling like you're dying all the time because yeah like rice just mm, rice <laughs> I, I like me some rice I'll tell you that but speaking of which uh, we got five minutes we can still keep doing the the the, the food allergy talk <laughs> fine by me i don't really have food allergies i i think i'm allergic to like penicillin but that's not food so what it doesn't you know it's fine uh let's oh I'll, too many things i'm trying to do all at the same time in this game okay we're gonna need these logs we're gonna dismantle them Okay, and that's six planks. Oh, rice is gluten free. Yeah, I don't know why I thought, I think some versions of rice may not be, but I'm also stupid, so I'm probably wrong. Which, is, which again, why I'm not trying to talk over people if possible. Cause I just like, I just don't know everything and I try not to impose if possible all right let's dismantle this because i'm yeah whatever shark tooth go away uh let's see leaf can go in there yeah that's it's fun okay fair enough <laughs> glutinous rice that's because i think i maybe like brown rice or like rice that has like more like husky stuff to it maybe but i don't, I don't know okay yeah we need to dismantle this pole here and that will get us the dowels we need to make a chest. We're still exhausted, by the way. I'm just kind of wandering around, just working through it anyway, because whatever. Because I want this chest, because food placed in the chest will last 20% longer, it looks like. It'll also just not be in our inventory. Sweet. Hey, you know what they say, when in doubt, Google it. <laughs> Move all our fish sticks to here. And we can also... Let's start a quick fire here, just so we can cook this uh, meat and... Just kind of put it in here, I guess. Uh, what's polished? I'm sorry, I might I feel like I missed something here. <laughs> ah. Cross-contamination is pretty bad. You gotta, like, make sure you don't get, like, peanuts mixed in with, like, your rice or whatever. Or some of the peanut allergy is gonna have a bad time. By bad time, maybe worse than a bad time. Let's see if our little goat friends have some milk for us. You have any milk? Please. I need milk. Thank you, goat. Thank you. <laughs> ah, okay. I see. So white rice is more processed than brown rice is, in that case. Oh, hello, Spoder. Perish. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. Hmm, what's it about? I, mean, I would assume rice, but... <laughs> oh. Well, that's cool. That's good stuff, good to know. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, huh, that sounds cool. I could add that to the growing list of games I should play, but we'll probably never have time to. <laughs> Goodness gracious, there's so many cool games these days. Like, I know Grice needs, like, to grow in, like, standing water or something, I think. If, if any of the manner of, like, games I played where you grow rice in are to be believed. It needs, like, they have to grow, like, in water. Because they just need a lot of water to grow, I would imagine, but... Let's see, we're gonna just... Well, we got, we got a decent amount of stuff done. We got another room made, and we got the kiln and the furnace made. Which means next turn we could probably start trying to work on making glass. So we can make better water retrieval. Because once we have like glass like stills that are powered by the sun, we just put water in there, attach a container, and then it just does it on its own without having us to light a fire, which saves a lot of resources. But that's a next time kind of thing, which will probably be next Saturday. So we're going to save here. And I'm going to, where's, which menu, which menu is it? Uh, is it this one? Menu, okay. And we will quit the main menu. Be saved automatically. This game's also multiplayer, by the way, too. All right. Okay, sweet. All right, well, it's the end of my current stream. We will be streaming again at, um, at noon which will be another hour or so. Good night, e uh, Eli Moo. I probably still said that wrong, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> if I see you next, if I see you later, I'll see you later. But if not, you yeah, have a good night. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be ending the stream for now at noon, probably, give or take, is when I'll be starting up again with Pokemon Scarlet. I'm very excited. I've, se I've seen there's um, glitches. <laughs> so I'm excited to see those too. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna end the stream for now. Let's see if someone else is going that I want to raid into. <laughs> no, I've definitely seen some of the glitches, and they're hilarious. I love Jank, so I'm I'm, I'm not deterred by it whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm I'm here for it. But let me see if anyone's live on my friends list or whatever that I want to raid into real fast. Let's see. Well, I want to raid into Jedi, cause, but they're, but he's also playing Scar, and I don't want to get spoilers, so we're probably gonna not do that. Uh, looks like Mavis Deluna is still doing their uh, birthday thon like stream thing, so we'll probably raid into them real fast. They're a sweetheart, and they're also either part or a, part of a stream team, or they're like a leader of a stream team. So we're we're all we're about that kind of life too. So let me get myself squared away and we'll start that raid ah eh, well that's fine well, I guess we'll I I guess well I will be playing it docked because I'll be streaming it but yeah I'm, we're, I'm gonna end my stream now and we're gonna start the raid and I'll be back in a little bit with some Pokemon so I'll see you guys later and say hi say hi when we get there <laughs>